headed to Punta Gorda today, and uh, we're going to the radioactive fountain of youth. Sounds scary. So this place is a concrete block structure that was built in 1926, but the fountain's been there since around 1894. And the city tried to shut it down about 35 years ago after the water was uh, found to be laced with radioactive radium and sulfur. But the people in the city said, nope, we want it, keep it. So they kept it. And even though it's high in radium, uh, the fountain might actually be a real fountain of youth because it has magnesium in it, a lot of it. And uh, that's the second most mineral found in the body next to calcium. So I think we definitely need it. I actually take a supplement of magnesium, so it makes sense. So maybe I don't have to take the supplement for the next couple of days. We'll see. Okay, we're coming up on it. It's smaller than I thought it was. <laughs> and there's these guys down here decorating a Christmas tree way too soon. Seems that all the towns are doing that. Does it smell like sulfur? melting through my hand. Right. Okay, Jimbo's gonna drink it out of his hand. I will too, but I have to put the camera down. <laughs> now it's Christy's turn. Oh, gross. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, the Christmas tree decorators are uh, staring at us laughing. Uh, that was pretty gross. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Now we gotta go uh, wash it down with some something. Power. Yeah, power. <laughs> All right. Oh no, I'm burping. Oh, <laughs> rotten eggs. <laughs> so gross. And uh, when I said it was too soon for Christmas decorations, that's totally my preference. You can put up Christmas decorations in April if you want to and never take them down. I don't even care. Um, I don't think he cares either. Do you care? No, he doesn't care. He doesn't even want to put them up. So, <laughs> all right. On to the sculpture park and I'll get the correct name when we get there. Thanks, my love. Okay, so we made it in. And here we go. And I do know that this is yellow. Andy, go ahead and pause and read if you want. I'll get a little closer. That's Andy Warhol. Yellow Andy. And that bougainvillea is uh, growing on the trellis real pretty. I'd love to see it get all the way to the end. I think they got Christmas lights up. And there are some moo cows. It's called the Milk Factory. See some butterflies. That's a butterfly house coming up. Let's go check that out. Look at how pretty. So huge. Imagine all the thorns. Bougainvillea's got a lot of thorns. The tree trellis. Okay. My gentleman. I don't think they like the rain. 
Oh, there's one up on the screen right there. It's a monarch. You can't see it in here. Right there. I think they're in caterpillar stage still. Something. Okay. <laughs> oh. Over there. oh. Okay, there are uh the butterflies aren't out today. It's probably because of the rain and it's pretty much raining in here. We getting dripped on. We shall move on. Thank you. Thanks. Bamboo. Tropical blue bamboo. giant bamboo it's used for as building material for heavy construction bananas manners or some manners they're so tiny though coconuts we all know the coconut palm is it pretty we used to have one of these things in our yard, and that thing was a pain in the butt. Called the Traveler's Palm. They look pretty, but don't put them next to your house. Fountain. Okay, get yourself a guy who holds the umbrella for you and points out the puddles. So sweet. Okay, back to art. She looks like she's enjoying herself. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> oh, it's called Next Summer. So cute. Everyone loves a good bromeliad, right? It's so pretty. I've never seen them look so pretty. There's a really cute garden. It's brand new. I don't even know when it opened. They didn't have much information on uh, on the internet. Oh. Hello. Oh, I can do that. Totally. Sculpture. Monumental Fire and Harmony. It's hmm. beautiful. What's she doing? Toenails are on the detail. BB on the ball. Okay. Look at how detailed her feet are. Hey, girl. Wake up. Okay. There's art doing art things. Steel palms. Oh. oh, another piece of art. Wow, big. Let's stretch that out there. It's called Keel. I don't know if the sunlight's going to mess that one up by 
Kemal Tufan in 1960 to Istanbul, Turkey. So it's from Turkey. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I guess this is the Peace River. Oh. Oh, I see why they call it that. It is quite peaceful. Look how beautiful. I mean, ignore the gray skies. I'll make a sunny day out of anything. I don't care about that. Look at how pretty. Oh, oh now we're undercover. We can enjoy it. Oh, you can see the line of rain right there. And another line of rain right there. So basically, back where we came from. If we could go there. Eh, it's going to rain there too. The good thing is, is we won't melt, especially now that we're radioactive. We drank the juice. Still got the taste on the back of my tongue. It's so gross. Oh, let's look at that palm again. Hold on. That structure from the other side. I forget what it was called. Palm or something. Steel palm. Well, it looks pretty. Okay. This is, you can't see it, it's the man in red. The man in red is way out there. Look how pretty this walk is. A little less rain coming through. East River. It is uh, swampland here. Not because it's raining. It looks like it's always like that. That's why we're on a dick. Duck. Okay, this one's called Glass Fronds. Orchid lovers, there's some uh, orchids hanging all around this whole trellis. I'll take a picture from behind and see if it's better. Oh yeah. Let's see what this sculpture is called. Oh, is that a hidden Mickey? No. Silly girl. Hello, everybody. We'll, we'll be in a minute. I can answer questions. Okay. She looks like she enjoys the rain. Look at her. She's basking in it. Or the sun. But she's got a raincoat on. Oh, such a gentleman. Ladies, come on. She's called the New York City Slicker. We got a lot of those here. Ostriches. Looks like she's blowing him a kiss. And he's receiving it on the top of his head. The wave. Right. Right there. Look at those bad boys off. All right, we're finishing it up. One more cute little quirky thing to see. Island. There's a light.
safe house out there. I like lighthouses. Who doesn't? I really liked Peace River Garden. That was really cute. The statues were so adorable. If they had a gift shop, I would have bought every single one of them. The, the ladies in the pool were so cute and colorful and I love that kind of art. So I like that. They had a lot of pretty plants and I learned names of things. Always learning. Always learning. <laughs> Jimbo's always teaching me stuff too. Like, what'd you just teach me, Jimbo? Why do they call it the Tamiami Trail? Why do they call it that, Jimbo? Because it connects Miami and Tampa Bay. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, there's your fun fact for the day. Sky's starting to be blue. And there's that lighthouse. A little while back, we just went on a trip on to the Great Lakes. We went to every Great Lake. And I have a thing for sea glass. And we found, we found lake glass on every single lake. That's pretty neat. So I found sea glass in the Atlantic, in the Pacific on our honeymoon. Never found it in the Gulf. We'll see. Oh, I gotta jump? All right. Let's see if I can find some sea glass. Is it a surfboard fin? No, it's an animal fin. Oh! I just found a shark tooth. Oh, baby one. There's layers and layers and layers of shells. I didn't find any sea glass, but it's okay. There's other beaches. We'll hit them. So we gotta hustle to get off this beach because uh, unlike our beaches, you had to pay to be on this one. We had to pay to cross the bridge. I'm surprised we didn't have to pay to park. So we're out of here. All right, let's go find another lighthouse. Signs. Title action. No swimming, no waiting, no water entry. Oh, see more, more butterflies right here than we did in the butterfly house. Okay, so that's the lighthouse that we just paid three bucks to see. This is kind of pretty. There's a lot of shells down there. I think I might have to put a pause on y'all and go check it out. The West Coast has a lot of kitty pops. I like to think they look like uh, little sunrises near the water. There's a kitty paw. Sea 
glass height. Don't you think they look like little sunrises? I just love them. We get in here. Ah, oh, thank you. Jeep wave. Okay, we're gonna go to Banyan Street. I know I love art. It was already sat down, but I had to come and be one of those people walking around recording a giant arty grouper. <laughs> Look how cute. Mm. Oh, that's good. Tequila. I taste the tequila. Right next to the ugly group. Mm -hmm. I, I did walk around it and show them. <laughs> this place is super cute. Set up real nice. Little band stage right there. Nice crowd of people. No one on too much. Very nice. I this imagine mate. there's probably some indoor seating. But I'm not really <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> Who cares? It's perfect out. It's like uh, maybe 80 degrees. Low humidity. It's perfect. Look at that blue sky now. All that rain we put up with today. It's perfect. Jimbo's getting those grouper tacos. And the shells are made of cheese. I'm gonna get these shrimp tacos. Made of flour. It's pretty cool. Shrimp would be me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, y'all enjoy. Thanks. Okay, check this out. These are these shrimp tacos. And the grouper tacos. I'm excited. Yum. Cute. <laughs> and that was really good. Jimbo's still trying to uh, finish the fries off. Was it good? 